Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome to Making Dreams Come True, episode 13, the series where I take you on a journey of me maxing out my account. In last episode, we ended up getting our quest cape, and uh, before we get into what is going on this episode, I want to explain my different types of grinds that I have right now. So I have four right now, the main one being uh, what is going to be most of today's video is killing Phantom Muspa 150 times. And then I have another grind, which is my chill grind, the grind that I do when I don't want to put much brain power into the game, which is get 85 fire making from Winter Todd so I can light the bonfires around Gilinor. Um, and then to my third grind, which is my hated grind, which is room crafting, which uh, I think y'all should know by now. Um, but we're still working on getting to level 77 and getting the abyssal pouch plus the uh, rest of the outfit. And then the grind that I have on my phone whenever I just so happen to be on it, which is to obtain the expert mining gloves from the mining guild by getting unidentified minerals. And now on to today's episode. All right, I am uh, thinking I'm going to go ahead and try some Phantom Muspa. Um, give it a couple kills and stuff. I, if you look at my bank account, um, I is broke. So I need some money and I hear this is a really good money and my, yeah, my loot tab's not looking great either, is it? Huh? So yeah, um, I hear it's good money, so I might as well, you know, give it a shot. I really don't want to succumb to selling runes, but, uh, so that's why, that's why I'm here trying out Moose trying out something new, trying to make some money. So let's go ahead and try right i am here at phantom musfa i'm gonna drink a stamina pot and then i'm going to enter yeah i don't care what you guys say i'm going in there oh i forgot to switch my spell book okay so i'm gonna have to run around this whole time okay yeah let's just yeah let's head back so that was kind of fucked uh, let me let me switch my spell books and so we can actually fucking try there we go now we have ice barrage take two and we go again all right we'll start off with a stamina okay he's brown so I need to start off with some Ice Barrage while I'm running away. Uh, we can switch to that and then Eagle Eye and then go to our range switch. It's magic. Back to range. We got to freeze him. Give me the freeze. I have no idea where the safe spot is. Oh man, those do hurt though. Okay, he's uh, doing melee. Oh shit. Run away. Oh man, I'm not so sure about this. I'm kind of stuck, ain't I? Well, this is it. Come on, just give me one hit. Give me one hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. No, no. Oh, I got. Yeah, I gotta go. Oh, oh man, I was not hitting at all. I guess I could have walked out and not have been stuck, but I didn't think about that. All right, this time for sure. This time for sure. I really need to find out where this safe tile is. Oh no, running around's kind of fun though too. Tell you what, this is gonna practice on my. <laughs> On my fucking clicks, though, I'm gonna have to be a little, a uh, little bit better on clicking. Oh. Oh. Well, uh, we got sent back to Lumbridge. It was a good try, for real this time. Wait, not magic, not magic. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't hurt me, Daddy Muspa. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we're learning. We are learning. That is the important part. I definitely tanked that. I really need one of these to hit. I have no more food. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Well, I think that was my problem the first couple times. I forgot to switch bolts afterwards. There we go, we got our first kill. Let's go. Some adamant ore and some ancient essence. Very nice. Oh, and some pure essence. You, you can't can't forget about it. But uh worth it. Worth it. We got the kill. Alright, this time I brought a mage and range switch, like a full armor switch. See if that helps any. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with the switches and and the immediacy of the fight. So uh let's see how this goes. Well, I, I actually deserved that one. I, I ran right into him. 
Oh, how am I going to manage this? I'm out. No, I'm out. I'm out. There we go. That was uh, pretty clean, although we were kind of trapped. But, uh, hey, we got cannonballs, though. Very nice. 666 cannonballs, too. I mean, oh, it's kind of sinister, man. I don't know. Space is tight. Uh, what is that? It's five combat tasks. Oh, five points. Oh, kill the Muspa while it's surrounded by spikes. Okay. Pretty cool. Oh, God, he spawned. Oh, I, I should have left. I should have left. I should have left. I should have left. <laughs> that could have been bad. All righty. Very nice. Dragon Bolt. All right. Some more uh, rune kite shields. Hey, an ancient icon. Very nice. I can I can put this on the ancient scepter. I think. Oh, wait. I think this is better than the master one, right? I think so. Let me, let me look it up real quick. If I fuck it, I, I need to fucking remember to teleport out. If when I start looking up stuff, oh my god. <laughs> Trying to get myself killed. Okay, um, okay, so yeah, that's an upgrade. That is an upgrade. We'll put that right in there. Uh, I don't have a staff right now. I'll have to go get one. But I'm not using it right now, so, uh, whenever we do some bursting task, I'll, I'll go get that upgrade. And it's a 1 in 50 drop, so uh, not too rare, but uh, glad to get it. A lot of stuff, okay. Ancient Bruise. Okay, last kill of the night. Loop Path Key and some Water Orbs. May the, the main drop is these Ancient Essence. I mean, they are just cashing it in. Let me teleport, uh, since I remembered. But 8 kills, and we get a whole whole total of one mil in loot plus an ancient icon i mean 343k alone from the ancient essence so yeah you gotta love that anyways i will uh probably be back here tomorrow um oh man we are neo and holy shit okay apparently that was okay whatever Cut a little close, but we still got the kill nevertheless. For a dragon plate skirt and some smoke runes and the always ancient essence. Oh, the tight squeeze. Oh my god. Oh. The three kill trips kind of take it out of you. I really, uh, really push my limits there, but another ancient icon. Okay. Kill number 20. Let's see how many, uh, so 20 kills, 2.39 mil and GP. Very nice. All right. I sold off a couple things in the bank and cleaned it up. And I got myself a cash stack of 13 mil now, which is cool. I sold that bludgeon. I'm going to start doing these uh, clues that I have in my bank. Hey, we got a casket. This is actually the first master casket on the account, I believe. Let me check. Yes, so first master casket. What do we get? So let's go to let's go to Watson's house. Well, uh, that is uh, three collection log slots, I guess. Dig site, Dragon Halberd, and Ireworth Camp Teleport. That was a lot of build up for nothing. Also a magic seed. That was, that was a pretty good drop. 420 thousand swag all right there is our elite casket and we open it up purple sweet hey that was a uh, that was pretty easy uh medium casket let's go nothing all right here's our easy casket hey a collection log slot the red firelighter and the black beret all right, and this is the beginner clue. A total of 77 coins. I am. Okay. I think I'm going to go a full range setup and see how it goes. But I think I was going to, I was thinking about buying this Armadale helmet, but I think I might just buy the Blessed Coif again. It's a lot cheaper, for sure. <laughs> Oh, the kill down, some snap, another ancient icon, holy shit. Another kill down, oh, a Venonator shard, let's fucking go. 
Casey number 30. I believe it's a 1 out of 100, but very nice putting that into the bank. For Dragon Bolts, very nice. Another ancient icon. Holy shit. Why does it just keep throwing them at me? Blue scroll and a uh and a combat task. Oh, kill the Phantom Moose without taking any avoidable damage. That's dope. A frozen cache. Alright, let's open up this frozen cache. Hey, two dragon plate lugs. That's actually pretty good. Alright, so I've gotten a pretty comfortable with this fight. Uh, and I've actually gotten the whole smite flicking thing down. So I'm going to show you all how to how I do it. Just in case you're having trouble with it. Because I think, I think the way I do it is pretty concrete, actually. So put on your sapphire bolts and then... I'm just going to brew up real quick. Oh, well, okay. Turn on your prayer. Uh, then you flick. Okay, so wait until he attacks you with range and then attack afterwards. Every time he throws out a range, uh, you'll flick smite right after he throws it until you attack. And then you'll flick back to range. If he throws a magic attack, don't worry about flicking smite. Just wait until he throws another range attack. And it's as easy as that. Can't believe I just done that. <laughs> hey, another Venator shard. Holy shit. That's two today on kill 47. They're like seven kills apart. Holy shit. All right. And this is my fastest kill that I had with Moose, but I had some really lucky hits and I just want to show the whole video. It's going to be sped up a little bit. But yeah, just some really lucky hits and ended up getting a, a pretty good time for the gear that I was using, I think. All right, that was a that was a pretty fast kill. I knew it. I had a feeling it was gonna be it. All right, we got the speedrunner, charged ice. Let's go. All right, hard casket. Oh, blue fire lighter and a Tazar Ke'om 
ornament kit. Very nice. I guess it's not worth that much, but uh, that's our first ornament kit on the account. All right, we got the hard casket. What do we get? Nothing. Hey, another Venonator shard. Number three of the day. We're at 53 kills and gotten three. Holy shit. All right, we got ourselves the hard casket. And hey, Zamorak page four. Very cool. All right, and uh, that's going to do it for me uh, for the night. I will be back at some moose for, for tomorrow. But uh, we did quite a bit today. Um, got 53 kills. For 28 mil, got three shards, which is fucking crazy. And we did, um, we weren't able to do one of these clues, but we did all those clues as, um, today as well. And yeah, it was a pretty, pretty damn good day, I might say. All right, we need the Armadale helmet. I thought I was recording, but I, I didn't. But I opened up that elite casket and got a dragon scimitar kit. Uh, the the clue was worth uh, 581k, and we got a master clue. Fallow wants me to get an Armadale helmet, so I think I'm going to go do that. All right, and it is time. I'm going to sell just one of these shards for now, because that'll get me just enough to get an Armadale helmet. Actually, let me see if the, the god helmet actually works first. No, okay. Yep, so we're going to sell a Venator shard to be able to get that Armadale helmet. I was planning on getting it at some point anyways, so, uh, you know, we get an upgrade for the Muspa grind as well, which is very cool. All right, and there we go. Bought it for 7.7 7 mil, but that is a new uh, best in slot uh, for me. Uh, range gear so very cool all right i cannot do this step i need 87 herb lore so that is a drop all right so i am gonna say fuck it and i'm just gonna i'm gonna sell everything i'm gonna alloc everything and i'm just gonna get me an acb as well with the upgrade i think i can afford it and uh yeah let's go and try to get us first <laughs> let's go try to get ourselves an acb all right, here's the big ticket items. All right, and there we go. 4.7 mil from the Ancient Essence and 14.2 mil from the Venator Shards, which gives us a, gives us a total stack of 33 mil, which I think I'm actually short of. I'll tell you what, I just got that upgrade. So I can sell this. I can sell the dragon crossbow. I can sell the seer's ring. All right, so that got me to 36 mil. So I just need to come up with two more mil. All right, and I sold my regen bracelet that I was using for winter Todd. And hopefully this is enough. All right, we're putting the whole cash stack in there. We're going to we're going to be at zero. OK, we're going to have 75 K. To our fucking name but we got ourselves an armadillo crossbow all right is it worth it i don't know man but i am uh i'm happy to be able to try it out all right first trip with the armadillo crossbow actually first trip with the armadillo helmet too so two upgrades since the last trip Dragon plate skirts. Gold ore. All right. Hey, a clue scroll at the end of our trip. All right. We got ourselves a hard casket. And no collection logs. 
But we got some Ireworth teleport, so for a total of 52k, kind of, kind of not great. And just looking, uh, I realize I have 103 kill counts, so I might as well go over the total loot. We've gotten three Venonator shards, six, almost 67,000 Ancient Essence, 1,600 Dragon Bolts unfinished, and then a bunch of other stuff. We did get five Ancient Icons and a Charged Ice for the speed run time of three minutes, um, and two Elite Clues and five Hard Clues, which I've been able to do all the Hard Clues. I have not... Uh, I was not able to do one of the elite clues, but so six total clues finished as well. So uh, for a total of 35.6 million, which is heavily inflated by these uh, Venonator shards, I should only have one at this moment. So really lucky in terms of uh, the drops. Oh, level 95 range. Very nice. All right, we got ourselves a hard clue. And uh, nothing too exciting. All right, we got ourselves a hard casket. Bop! Guthix page four and Taiwana trio. Hey, another Venator shard. Very nice. On kill count 140, that is our fourth one. Another Venator shard? What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, I am astounded. <laughs> oh god, it started, it started, it started, it started. We did not prep at all. We have no prep done. <laughs> yeah, that was that was two kills apart. I'm like halfway paying attention to this kill right now. I'm just like flabbergasted. Molten glass. And a clue scroll on the last kill. Very nice. All right, Elite Casket. What do you say? Bop. Master Clue. Very nice. Yeah, I'm just going to drop it. I don't want to do Barbarian Assault. All right, we're at 145 Phantom Muspa kill count. So hopefully I can get the rest of these five in this trip. Hopefully this will be the last trip. If not, second to last trip for sure. But yeah, I, I originally started off with a with a mage switch to freeze. Yeah, I do like the running around like a headless chicken thing. Apparently, it's a method that you use in, a, in God Wars 2 a lot. So I figured might as well uh, get used to it and just do the running around thing for when I go to God Wars very soon. Um, that is the main reason why I wanted to get 85 fire making so that I could light that bonfire so I wouldn't have, ever have to deal with it um, before going into the God Wars. So... But I think the first thing I'll do in God Wars is Bandos. Which, uh, you know, Bandos would be pretty, pretty fun and exciting. And I'm not sure what I'll do after that. Maybe, uh, maybe Zilliana. But yeah, I like running around like a headless chicken. If you have the true tile, like the tile indicators on, you can just count every, uh, four tiles your character moves when you use the crossbow since it's a four tick. And then you can shoot and then immediately run back. So... But since I don't have magic, the, the melee phase is kind of janky, but that's why I have the Armadillo crossbow. I save um, I save the specs for when the melee phase comes up. And then I just pull out the specs and hopefully, hopefully it procs. And then I can just completely skip the melee phase, which is the goal every run. That was our 150th kill. Um, I'm going to stay here for the rest of the trip, though. I think I can get uh, maybe two more kills. So might as well stay for the rest of the trip.
All right, the melee phase was not good to me, so I only got one. But we ended off with an ancient icon. You gotta love it. Well, actually, uh, no, we got it. We got a supply drop. We can keep going. All righty, and adamant ores and death runes to finish it off. Very nice. Good run. Good trip. We ended off with 152 kills. Our best time is 2 minutes 44 seconds. Yeah, if we look at the loot tracker, we've gotten 5 Venonator shards, which is enough to make the bow, but we're selling them all because, yeah. And then 107,000 Ancient Essence, 2k Dragon Bolts Unfinished, and just a whole bunch of other stuff very awesome stuff ended up getting three elites and seven hard clues i was able to do all the hard clues but i wasn't able to do one of the elites and then one of the masters that i ended up getting i wasn't two of the masters that i got on this grind i wasn't able to do one required like 87 herbal and the other one required torso which i was just not about so yeah and if we look at the collection log which will pretty much tell us the same thing but it looks nice in the screen. We got everything but the pet, which is to be expected. But I'm going to go ahead and sell off the rest of this bank tab and see what we dally up with. Um, the whole loot um, tracker says it's about 60 mil, which is a uh, pretty pretty nice i think this is the most money i've made from a, a boss although i did spend quite a bit in resources um for bolts and ceridoma brews and super restores um like just this one instance you know one mil right there just for st just for fucking brews and restores and stamina pots and uh you know more brews and it doesn't go that far down but yeah we, we did end up spending quite a bit of money, but we we got an upgrade for the Armadale crossbow and the Armadale helmet. Um, the helmet was for a clue step, and I just decided to keep it. I might end up selling these items off in the future, but I felt like they were uh, a good upgrade to have compared to the dragon crossbow, just for this grind specifically. Um, but I'm going to keep them in the bank for now, and whenever i go to do another boss or something i'll probably end up selling it off to uh get the equipment that i need for that boss instead um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sell off this loot tab which after i've i mean i've sold a lot but we still have two venonator shards and 11k uh ancient essence and just uh some mi miscellaneous stuff plus the the resources tab um yeah, it looks like it's going to equal up to close to 20 mil, which will be nice because I've been broke this whole grind pretty much um, after buying that Armadale crossbow. All right, sold off everything besides the shards and the essence, which I'm going to sell now. Uh, 7.8 mil. Boom, very nice. A nice clean 15 mil right there. And then we'll sell these and get ourselves a cash stack of 19 mil. Almost 20 mil um, after purchasing the Armadale crossbow and the helmet. So uh, we got away with uh, 66 mil, which I mean, a little bit was left over from... Uh, I had a little bit left over from the previous videos, but... Uh, yeah that is a uh, pretty nice pretty nice nice to have a 20 mil cash tag i've not seen that in a in a minute i guess besides the few moments before i bought the uh armadale crossbow but that is uh just nice to have for the future all right i figured since while i was here i was just looking i i forgot all about these ancient icons i'm not sure what you can do with them besides make the ancient scepters uh but i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade one at least let's go talk to this guy and put the icon on the sept well on the on the staff and make it into a scepter yes please boom the ancient scepter very nice magic damage bonus five percent that is best in slot upgrade for now for whenever I do bursting. All right, hear me out. I know I look goofy, but I'm going to winter tot. Okay. 
We uh, since we got the quest cape last episode, um, I can actually build those uh, bonfires that uh, will stop the stat drain, like in Trollheim, or uh, we'll have everlasting light in like some places like the giant mole and stuff. But I do need 85 fire making for that. Um, so I think I'm gonna uh, go chill in Winter Todd for a little bit, uh, see if I can't get 85. Oh, that was really fast. This is the first game. I already got level 71. It it just popped up. I didn't realize. One, two, and three, and four. Okay. I guess some Raynar seeds and some Runite ore. It's not too shabby. Level 72, fire making. Level 73, fire making. Level 74, fire making. Level 75, fire making. Right, that was my last game of Winter Talk for the day. I'm going to go ahead and open up all these crates as well. Been saving them ever since that first game. That first game we opened up. Well, the first three games we opened them up. But I've been saving up a couple, so. Hey, a Bruma Torch on the first pull. Nice. Another Bruma Torch. All right, I guess two Bruma Torches and uh, just a, you know, a bunch of resources, but very nice. Okay, I got this Bruma Torch, this extra one, and I can, uh, I can trade it in for an extra supply crate. So maybe we'll get something. Uh, just some uncut rubies. Okay. And I just realized that I could uh, trade in these warm gloves too, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Two supply crates. Teak logs and torstoles. Well, level 76, excuse my inventory. I, I have it set up that way for closer space to, to click my logs and my knife and stuff. Level 77 fire making. All right, I got me a couple of crates that I'm gonna open. Some dynamite, some magic seeds, 30K. Not some magic seeds, uh, U seeds, magic logs, some U seeds. Uh, very nice, very cool. Level 78 fire making. Right, I'm gonna open up these crates right quick. Alright, two U seeds and a snapdragon. Okay. Level 79 fire making. I just missed it, but level 80, fire making, five more levels. Level 81, fire making. All right, I got myself a couple more crates. We're gonna open up. Another Bruma Torch. All right. Well, I guess I'll trade this Bruma Torch in for another crate. And get some raw tuna from it. Level 82 fire making. Level 83 fire making. Level 84 fire making. Level 85 fire making. We are done with Winter Todd for now. And we can now build the uh, the fire pits around the, the, the world of Gilnorm. There's one at the God Dungeons, the Lumbridge Swamp, Mosley Harmus Cave. For the cave horrors, um, one in Weiss, and one in the giant small layer. Oh, and there's also one in uh, the Mauritania swamp. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and open up all of these supply crates. We got ourselves 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, uh, 47 crates. So let's go ahead and open them up. Burnt pages. Very nice. Good for the collection log. More burnt pages. Hey, the pyromancer garb. Very nice. Finally got a different piece of the outfit instead of three gloves. All right, last of the supply crates. Another pair of warm gloves. 
All right, well, I'm going to trade in these warm gloves. And we get some more herbs. Very cool, very nice. Um, I'm going to go get the supplies and build those fire pits. Level 71 rune crafting. All right, I got 19 points I can go redeem, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, and just uh, 34 Abbey Pearls. All right, another hour or so of rune craft, and we got ourselves 18, well, 17 points. So let's see what we get. Another needle, Sag. All right, and 28 Abyssal Pearls. So that leads us to 331. Now the next cheapest piece is 350. So I will be getting that here pretty soon. So level 72 Runecraft. All right, I got 26 reward points so let's go ahead and open them up all right well a catalytic talisman uh some astral runes and the intricate pouch which i'll take those actually and 45 Abyssal Pearls, which I, I believe gets us to the 350. So we can buy ourselves the Robe Bottoms of the Eye. Look at us. Alright, two pieces down, two more to go. And that level 73 Runecraft. I'm going to step out of here, been here about two hours. A little under two hours got 27 points so uh yeah let's uh let's open these all right let's go another needle we, we only got 15 pearls out of that Oh my god. And some long chaos. That was horrible. That was that was just terrible. Alright, and now on to this week's uh portion of the video of what the fuck I did on my phone this week. Um I ended up going back to the mining guild to finish up getting these unidentified minerals. Um I am ten short from getting the whole glove set, so I'm gonna stay here for now and do it. Um, and here's a screenshot right now of, uh, ever since the loot tracker came to the mobile app, I ended up mining 12,177 iron rocks, uh, for 142 unidentified minerals and a medium clue scroll, which is, uh, pretty, pretty damn good. That's, uh, overrate by like, probably like 20, 21 unidentified minerals overrate. So that's, uh, that's pretty lucky. We only have uh, 10 more unidentified minerals to go, and then I'm going to do this uh, medium clues uh, scroll after I'm done. Um, but yeah, I will be back here in a minute once I get that. Oh, I also forgot to mention that uh, today I ended up getting 330, almost 340,000 XP for mining, um, getting a total of 57,000 XP per hour. Uh, which is uh, pretty good for just being out and about on the phone um, while I can. So, Alright, and after about an hour, we get our 10 more unidentified minerals. Which, if we take out this, we now have 240. And if I did math correctly, we can buy our mining gloves again. We can buy our superior ones, which are a new collection log slot. And then I believe we can talk. 
and see if I can merge them. And there we go, the expert mining gloves. Two more collection log slots, and now we have another fit for the mining. So now whenever I train mining, I don't, uh, I can go do something else. I, I think I'm gonna hit up the motherload mine next time I mine. Either that or more shooting stars to get the, uh, the golden outfit. Yeah, I don't know why I was running away from the bank. I need the bank right now. Um, I'm going to go do these uh, medium clue scrolls as well as these easy and beginner ones that I got while I was woodcutting. So, yeah, I'm going to get this done real quick. Alright, we got ourselves three caskets. A beginner, easy, and medium. A beanie uh, collection log slot. Okay. And a boater, a Hanani boater, I must say. Alright, it's that time of the video where I would cut and edit up this video. So I think I'm going to end it off here. Um, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content in the future. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comments uh, what I could do to improve on the next one. And uh, I hope you all have a good day, night, or morning, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.